Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the calculated fields to show a, uh, a computed sum on the uh, SalesPad reports. To do that, let me bring up Aaron Fitz as my customer and uh, choose a document. I've prepared this document with a discount. So now if we go to print this document and uh, go to properties and design, wait for the designer to come up, um, we'll see that I've, uh, I've prepared the formatting for this report to include a a regular price field and then a your price field to say to show the customer how much they're saving uh, with the discount. So what I need to do now is go over to the field list, and I'm going to expand the sales document um, object, and then right click and add a calculated field. You'll see it's added calculated field one. I'm going to right click and. Uh, and edit this. I'm going to change the name. Like that. Then go and type in an, an expression. So I click on fields and then I'm going to go down and choose the, um, the document total. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, these are not in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to double click to add that. Then I'm going to add my plus sign. And finally go back up and look for my, my discount field. Then double click on that. So once that's done, I can just uh, I can just hit OK. And before I do, actually, let me point out that there are other operations we can do here. Uh, different binary operations, or I'm sorry, Boolean operations, as well as different uh, um, algebraic expressions we can add. So I just go ahead and uh, click OK there, close out, and OK once again. So now I can go down to to the spot that I've made for this and click on the table cell. I'm going to open up the tasks menu and go to the data binding. So this is partially cut off on your screen, uh, no doubt. Uh, but you can see that I'm going to the sales document and then scrolling down to my calculated field. There it is, original price. So now that it's on there, I'm going to go ahead and preview my document. So there it's showing the regular price, and then finally the uh, the total minus the discount. But as you can see, this one has way too many um, decimal places, so I need to go back. And I'm going to click on it again, open the tasks menu, and then I'm going to choose a format string for it. I'm going to choose my currency and just use that one. Then finally preview it again. So there you go, that looks a bit more like a uh, like a dollar amount. Once I'm done and uh, satisfied with this, I can go ahead and save it and close out and hit yes to apply my changes. Now when I go to go to a print preview, You'll see what that looks like. So there you have it. We've just added a calculated field in the SalesPad uh, report designer. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPad.